Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. The links to those are below. I also have Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, the link for that is also below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. If you're looking to start your own tarot channel or learning to or wanting to learn how to read tarot, you can check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. It's about two and a half hours long. Um, if you would like to book a phone reading with me or a video reading with me, the link for that is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I currently have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle that is buy one, get one free. The link for that is below. And then I have Royal Rose tarot which is um 20 percent off okay and this one's low in stock so collective i pulled your cards and i started doing the reading and the reading just shut off it just went bloop <laughs> okay so i don't know it's just interesting to me because it's uh um, when I was in the middle of re of the reading, I was kind of getting to a point where like your person didn't want, uh, someone to know uh, the truth about them. So let me just start from the beginning real quick. Okay. So collective, I feel like this is going to be a little specific because we could be dealing with someone that has an addiction that they need money for. So it could be a drug addiction, a gambling addiction, a drinking addiction. Um, if this person maybe has certain addictions when it comes down to sex, like strip clubs, prostitutes, or, uh, buying those videos online. They have these uh, videos online where you can go on and tell the girl or the guy what you want them to do. And it's like a video chat. I don't know. But this is someone that is obsessed right now with finances, getting money. Okay. So collective, if this person was promising you a future marriage, uh, you know, if they felt a strong soul tie with you, they are retreating from that and they are denying how they feel about you. Okay. This is somebody that may honestly feel that you are their soulmate. They may honestly feel like you are the one they're meant to be with, but this is someone that is choosing their addictions over love. Uh, they're choosing their addictions over a sacred union and they have become obsessed with the financial challenges of feeding whatever addiction they have. Now, this is somebody that um, is a great actor. This is someone that knows how to manipulate. They know how to twist words. They know how to twist situations. They know how to love bomb people. Um, and I feel like what's happening collective is your person could be moving towards someone new. Um, they want to move towards people that have that true ride or die energy. Okay. Um, uh, people that will help them, um, enable them in this addiction. Now collective, I feel like you're kind of sitting there and you know the truth about this person. And I feel like you're looking at the new individual in your person's life wanting to kind of set the record straight with this person, because I feel like what your person is in the process of doing right now is smearing your name to the new person, venting about all the issues that you guys had and, <clears throat> and, um, kind of, uh, what's the word I want to say here? like they're embellishing the good things that you did <clears throat> and really talking bad about the bad things that you did. Because what this person is trying to do is they're trying to manipulate the new person to do the same good things that you did and the things that you did that annoyed this person, this new person, you know, obviously wants your person. So they're getting this new person into this energy of wanting to jump through hoops to them. Okay. Uh, uh, the collective did this for them. Okay. So I'm going to do it even better. The collective did this and, and, and they didn't like what the collective did. So I'm going to do that even better. Like I'm going to do what I have to do to win this person. I feel that, um, collective, 
There may have been things that your person wanted to do in the bedroom that you weren't willing to do. This new person is out to give your person money, sex, like they want to try to one up you. Okay. But you're just kind of sitting there with this smile on your face. Like, okay, well, um, you'll see. I feel like this, uh, new person in your person's life may have a chip on their shoulder, uh, kind of throwing it in your face. Like, oh, he belongs to me now. She belongs to me now, like throwing it in your face, but collective, you know who this person really is. And there's a part of you that kind of wants to entertain this argument and set the record straight. But I think you're choosing to be silent. I think you're choosing to be silent and you're just going to wait for this person to get played because you know that your person is manipulative. They're a liar. They're controlling and they're trying to use this person as a, uh, a puppet. This new person that is in your person's life may make an attempt to attack you. Uh, and come towards you and rub it in your face that your person is with them, right? And again, there's a part of you, a small part of you that wants to clap back at this person and be like, dude, you are so stupid. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. But you know that they're not going to listen to you. You know that this person is just going to think that, you know, you're lying, trying to get this individual back. But, and that's definitely not the case. That is definitely not the case. I feel like you know what's about to happen to this new person there is a part of you that feels bad for this individual but because they're coming off as so in your face and arrogant you're just gonna sit there and smile and be like you'll see wait till you get played wait till you get played um yeah you know that collective this new person in your person's life is not going to want to hear anything that you have to say so you're not even going to entertain arguing with this person We've got fake apology here and destroyed collective. I feel that your person has pulled away from you because you're noticing that they are all about their addiction and money. This person could have stolen money from you. You could be really noticing money's missing from your, your, your wallet there. It's missing from your banking account. Uh, it could be even you collective that withdrew from this person. It could be you that said, you know what, this is not, even though I feel a soul tie energy with you, um, even though I feel like you're the one for me, you have a very bad addiction to something here. Um, and I have to, I have to walk away. And I think that your person, it's either they left you because you were not giving them what they needed anymore, or you left them because you were not willing to support this person's habit or enable their habit anymore. So I feel like they went towards someone new and this new person is very much in your face. I feel that collective this person is coming towards you with fake apologies. Um, they're feeling that, you know, they messed up with you. They would rather have you back collective because they've been with you for a long time. They know that you know the truth. They know what you have to offer and they don't really want to be wasting their time with this new person. So this new person is coming to you, talking out the side of their mouth, talking all this shit. Meanwhile, you have proof. You have proof and you have screenshots that this person is literally trying to get you back. And I feel that collective Collective, there is a part of you that wants to actually show this person the screenshots like you are you look so dumb right now like this person's trying to get me back they're trying to play you this person's a liar they're a manipulator but because this person is being so nasty towards you I think that you're just gonna sit back and let this person learn the hard way Okay. Yeah. See, I feel like you want to tell this person that they need to check themselves because they have no idea what they're getting themselves into, but I think you're going to leave it alone. Yeah. Game over. You're going to leave it alone. You're done playing the games. This is like a whole Jerry Springer show and you just don't want to deal with it anymore. Collective. You're not entertaining this new person in their life. You're not entertaining this person. You have screenshots here that would shut this person up so fast like so fast, but because of the way they're being nasty and in, in your face about it, you're just going to be like, you know what? Listen, oh yeah, you got me. You stole my man. You stole my woman. You're the shit. Okay, then I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now. Eventually you're just going to sit there and watch and see that this person is, um, you know, going to get played just the way you've been getting played. We've got sexual protection here. 
I feel like you might be tempted to tell this person to use sexual protection because maybe um, this individual has sex secrets. Maybe they go off, get high, and just entertain anybody, you know? Yeah, I feel standing your ground for battle and defending yourself. So collective, you may be tempted to tell this person that, you know, for some of you, this person uh, caught an STD, maybe even gave you the STD and you're tempted to warn this new individual, or maybe this person found out they had an STD before you caught it, you know, or maybe you didn't catch it and thank God you didn't. But collective, you know that this person is A, trying to to get you back B that they have some type of toxic addiction C that they're only trying to use this person for money and D that they may pot potentially have an STD that they gave to you or you found it out thank God before you were able to get sick with it you're wanting to warn this new person um, about this okay you want to tell this person that this is going to fall apart because you're dealing with someone extremely toxic um, but they you know they think that you're just going to be envious. There are so many things that, you know, voicemails or voice notes or messages that you could reveal here to this person, but they're just going to end up thinking that you're envious or that you're jealous of them. So you're just going to let this person talk and talk and talk until they crash into a wall and realize who they're really dealing with here. Yeah, I feel like you're discarding this, this individual that's trying to attack you. You're discarding this person that you have left behind. Um, you're, you're just not really wanting to deal with this. You wish that you could warn this person, but you know they're not going to listen. This individual is very dead set on the fact that this person that you have walked away from is going to keep their promises to them. I feel like what this person doesn't know is that they are dealing with someone that is salt and sugar. That one minute this person is sweet and kind and, and all this other stuff, but they could get real salty if they don't get the money that they want. They're dealing with someone that is extremely money hungry. Okay. Um, so collective, I feel like you're going to sit back and you're just going to watch Watch this whole thing play out. I don't feel that you're interested in reuniting with this person. I don't feel that, you know, I feel like there's a part of you that feels bad for this new person because you know how bad their life is about to be affected, but you also know that there's nothing you can do. If you were to entertain this argument and show them screenshots, messages, whatever, this person's just going to say you're jealous and you want your person back. I feel that collective, many of you may just be centering your energy aligning your chakras. Maybe you guys are going to the gym. Um, I feel that collective, you're just going to let it play out with that situation the way it needs to play out. Um, I, I don't think that you're going to get involved. You're going to be tempted to because this person's coming towards you in such a nasty way. Tell me about the collective. We've got winter here we've got time. Yeah. I feel like you're taking this winter collective to just, um, heal from what this person has put you through. I feel that you're maturing, you're growing, you're changing. I feel like you're asking yourself, why did this have to happen to me? I felt such a strong soul tie with this person. I thought I was going to be with this person for the rest of my life. And you're just accepting the fact that this person is not for you. You could be accepting the fact that this, uh, this is a karmic, um, loop that you've been stuck in for quite some time. And now you've got this third party in your face, kind of rubbing it in your face that they have this karmic and I have to be honest, collective, for some of you, there's a small sense of relief that this karmic has taken your problem, okay? You may feel bad. You may, have you ever seen like scary movies where someone has an item that's cursed and the only way to get rid of the curse is to give it to someone else and they have to really sit there with that and say, you know, do I want myself and the people that I love to be affected by this item or, you know, what should I do? And they end up giving this cursed item to a random family or a random person, putting it out on a garage sale and it goes and destroys someone else's life. That's the same vibe that I'm getting here collective, that this person was very toxic and 
you know, you're kind of tempted to like warn this new person, but you're like, Hey, listen, better them than me, right? This, this third party really thinks that your person or this ex of yours is going to be loyal to them. They have no idea that all this person is looking for is money with gold digger here. Okay. All this person is looking for is money to feed their addiction. We've got independent here. And we've got submissive. Yeah, what this person, what your person goes after is people that are sitting in independent energy where they have their own house, have their own apartment, have a good job, but also have a submissive and traditional vibe to them um, where like if they need anything, this person will jump and run. So this ex of yours collective that you're walking away from has a specific type that they like to target, okay? Okay. Um, um, now, while they're doing this with this new person, they are making an attempt to reconcile with you. If anything, they're obsessed with reconciling with you and coming back home and getting you to say yes, because collective, you may be a very independent person. You may be well off financially and you may sit in a very docile energy where like, you know, just to keep the peace, you may give it to them. Or if this person kind of pushes you and yells at you too much, you may just give in and give them what they need. Um, or you're very forgiving. So you were the perfect victim for this person. This person could be very narcissistic, but I'm not sure if it's an actual problem with narcissism with this person or it's just their addiction. I mean, guys, I had a drug habit. I'm, I'm 43 now. I had a drug habit in my 20s. I've been clean for almost 13, uh, 14 years now. Um, but you're a different person when you're high. You're in a different per you're a different person when you have certain addictions. And I think that collectively you know, either this person is narcissistic or, you know, it's their, their, their addiction that makes them act this way. I feel that collective, you're tired. You want to stay uh, separated from this person. I feel like you're not interested in reconciling with this person. And even though you have a shit ton of proof to show this new person and you could destroy this new person's ego in a heartbeat because they're so like with a chip on their shoulder, like, yeah, I got, I got your man. I got your woman. I'm better than you. I'm better than you. You know, that type of energy, even though you could shut this person up in a heartbeat, you're like, why would I want to do that? Because then you know, that person is going to leave them and then they're just going to come at you harder. They're already trying to reconcile with you. You're trying to give this other person your, your problem. You're like, no, yeah, really, you could take it. You could have it. <laughs> you know, you're just trying to get, you're trying to just accept the fact that this was karmic, accept the fact that this is a cycle that you have to a uh, break. Um, you're not really sure why God has put you through this or why the divine has put you through this. Um, but you've accepted the truth for what it is. We've got desire here and we've got ghosted. Yeah, this is a person that gets what they want from you and then disappears. So they will love bomb you, say whatever. Sorry guys, that was my ice machine. They will love bomb you. They will say whatever they need to say. And as soon as they get whatever they're craving or whatever they're yearning for, whatever amount of money, they will disappear. This person is a liar. Okay, this person is a liar. As soon as they get what they want out of you, they will dip on you to go feed that addiction. Okay, to go feed that addiction. I feel like at one point you love this person very much collective. And with rage here, this person really had the ability to, um, you know, affect affect you really badly. I feel like one minute this person was loving, one minute this person was throwing you into uh, a fury of rage because the way they would just uh, switch up on you. I'm getting a very strong love bomb and gaslighting type of energy. And I feel like collective, you're just exhausted. And now you've got this person in your face that wants to be all up in your face talking about how you, they're better than you and he belongs to me now and she belongs to me now. And you're like, bitch, you can have it. <laughs> you can have it. And, and you actually even feel bad for this person. Tell me about the collective. We've got shocking. And we've got elusive. Yeah, I feel that collective, this new person is about to get a taste of what you've been going through. 
I feel like this, this new person, it, their world is about to fall apart because they're about to see the mask is going to fall off and they're about, yeah, there we go. I just said mask, right? There it is that this new person is about to, um, yeah, this new person is about to see who this person really is. They're going to be shocked. This person may even text you and saying, why didn't you warn me? Boundaries here. Why didn't you warn me? that yeah of, of the karma that I was going to face for being with this person and collective I feel like you're just going to say I had to you had to go through it yourself so this you know who laughs good laughs last okay so this new person is laughing real good right now thinking that they've won over you thinking that they're better than you thinking all this stuff but they're about to be put in their place by your person they're about to see what you have been dealing with this whole time and i feel like this person is actually going to come towards you and say why didn't you warn me about who they really were why didn't you warn me about you know the consequences of being with this person and i feel like collective you're going to say you I, you know i thought the situation was hopeless i didn't think that you were going to believe me and not to mention with withdrawn here i just want to mind my own business i don't want to be involved in this i don't want to be you know you thought you had this great person and you know it's cloudy judgment it was an illusion it was distorted you know yeah i could look see confession and curse i could have told you that this person is a curse i could have told you that this person is evil but i just figured that one day you would end up getting broken by this person stressed out and everything and you would see the truth for what it is eventually you know i know how it is with this person that eventually they're going to get distracted they're not going to be able to maintain that love bombing energy and it's going to be on and off and you're going to get tired you know you're going to get tired um you and this person collective may even become friends because of this because of what you've experienced with this person so you know this this and I feel like this might be a karmic, honestly. Okay. I feel like this third party might be a karmic because this third party had very ugly energy. This is someone that liked to be, uh, like in your face. I got your man. I got your woman now. And spirit is shutting this person up hard. So I don't think this person's ever going to act that way again. So you may have been karma for this individual because this is someone that really likes to get up in people's faces and I'll be all like, yeah, I got them now. They're, I'm better than you. I got your man. I got your girl. And spirit is about to shut this person up and say, sit down sit down because what this person is ultimately doing is they are kind of, you know, taking someone who's in pain and making it worse. Do you understand what's happening now is this, this third party karmic person is going to learn how to shut up. They're going to learn how to shut up because, uh, you know, what you should be doing is asking questions like, oh, really? That person is uh, bad. Uh, what did they do? You know, you really should listen. You know, I'm always in favor of listening to the ex. I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm always in favor of listening to the ex. I use my intuition. So if someone tells me, and even family members, if family members tell me something, I'm out. I am out. I feel like this is someone that knows how to attract people. They're good in bed. They're good at love bombing. And then they abandon people or they get what they need and they ghost or they change. And that's when people will wake up and say, oh, this was a mistake, you know? So collective, you are going to receive, um, an apology from this karmic. I'm sorry that I acted that way. I wish you would have told me that they were like this. And then I think collective, you're going to come forward and say, yeah, this person was trying to reconcile with me the whole time. Uh, you know, I had screenshots here and proof that would have shut you up so fast, but I just felt like you needed to learn the hard way with the way you were acting. You would have never believed me that this person is a true gold digger. This person is someone that just, they're in love with their addiction. They, they treat people like objects, you know, um, so you had to just see it for yourself in order for you to believe me. There was nothing I could have said or done to get you to, uh, believe me. You would have just said I was jealous and that was it, you know? So you will be getting an apology from this karmic after they see who, who, and what they're really dealing with. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Take care. Care, my loves.